Isn't this the way to the Fortune Academy? Rappa. Give me a break, miss. I I'll repeat this for the millionth time. I'm not evil, nor do I sell any Gord's robe. Nay, Ninja Initiate Merchant. The other Initiates have verified that these fiendly puppets are from your shop. Confess at once. Are you under the spell of evil Ninja Osaru? Oh, hey, it's you. Uh, please, uh, help me talk some sense into her. I'm just a well-behaved student working to pay my tuition fees, not whatever initiate she thinks I am. Never mind that. The monkey you sold us keeps running off on its own. Are you sure it's just a toy? Fiendling puppets imbued with life. The epitome of ninja automation. You rich folks are just being unreasonable. If it were really some high-end stuff, would I be selling it at such a low price? Please, take pity on this poor student. Have a heart. You know, as if squeezing in sales between classes isn't enough, I haven't slept a wink in three days just so I can get this batch of toys ready. Richie! How could you speak so rudely to your customers? Fortune Banana Visor. The customer is always right. Do not teach you that. Greetings, dear students. This fiendling assumes the form of an insect-like pest. Clearly a lowly fiendling. What did you just say? Repeat that if you dare. Uh... An advisor? The customer is always right. <laughs> Pardon me. My dear students, you may have some misunderstanding about Fortune Academy's new product. These monkey toys are made this lively so that they bring more emotional value to our young customers. Paperfold University might seem to be an enjoyable place, but beneath their peels, many students are in fact bogged down by loneliness. You know, struggling to embrace the vibrant energy here in the moment of soul, but also realizing that they're unable to live as the Penaconians do. But the Slumber Nana Monkey is the perfect companion! It won't compete with grades, won't compare itself to you, won't use your things without asking. You can trust it completely without worrying about it sharing your secrets with others. Consider it your bestest pal, Nana! Look at the time! I have to get ready for my Dreamscape marketing class! Excuse me, students. I'll take all other questions after class. I, I should get to my class, too. But do me a favor, buddies. Just come look for me if you need anything. Let's not involve Banana Advisor again. Uh, I doubt he'll say anything more. Let's just follow him and see what we can learn. Banana! This atmosphere... Is this really a marketing class? Not quite. While Banad 
gibberation bananies helped propagate the banana craze. The key lies in how Slumber Nana Monkey addresses the pain point of Panaconian consumers. Both rich and poor alike come to Panacone in the hope of leading a more fulfilling life. Unfortunately, a couple of days in the dreamscape is all it takes for them to realize this is nothing more than a fantasy. Dream chasers soon give in to exhaustion, and tourists eventually grow weary from the endless festivities. Those famed tycoons and festive superstars that we pursue lead lives we can never hope to experience. So dramatic, eventful, and out of this world. But Slumber Nana Monkey epitomizes a wholly different lifestyle. Sleeping and snacking on bananas without a care in the world. This is what pure happiness should be. Banana. I have just the thing to help all of you understand this better. Fortune Academy students get a bonus discount when purchasing this special model of the Slumber Nana Monkey toy. Banana Advisor, I sold everything from the last batch. That's fantastic news! We underestimated Slumber Nana Monkey's popularity. Come with me, Richie. I'll, I'll get you more stock. So the Fortune Academy is supposed to promote these toys, but why did they rope students into their plan? Hmm. It's a shame we don't understand its bana gibberish. Oh, I have an idea. Can you use clockwork on it? I'm counting on you, Bana. Huh? It's working! Huh. It seems to be leading us somewhere. Let's catch up. Uh, why does it feel like I've been on a wild monkey chase all day? Make a wish! Initiate merchant and fiendling pest. Hold on. Let's listen in on their conversation first. Uh, Fortune Banana Advisor? Aren't we supposed to pick up more stock? I don't see anything here. Jeez. Dreamweaver Banana Advisor said he'd get a new batch ready. Looks like we can't rely on him for not testing. By the way, Banana Advisor, did those people willingly become monkeys? Of course, Richie. Can't you see how happy it is being a monkey? <laughs> uh, uh, I, 
I guess not. <laughs> I take it you haven't been paying attention in class, huh? Or did those guest students plant unrealistic ideas in your head again? Do you have the slightest idea about the backgrounds of those nameless? You're just a poor student from a faraway fringe planet, one that relies on the IPC for aid. Do you really think you can compare yourself to them? I know I can't measure up to those bigwigs, but there are things I hope to achieve too. I get it. You're aiming to make a lot of money. After all, the sky-high tuition fees at Paperfold University can really take a toll on the average middle-class family. Oh, I heard your father came to Patagonia too. Oh, he's been working day and night ever since taking up a new job at Dawn Factory, hasn't he? <laughs> oh, but no, how touching. How, how did you know that? Banana. He swung by a few days ago to check on how you're doing. I took the time to chat with him. Looking at how old he is, my heart really went out to him. Throwing in most of his life savings, only to slog his guts out in a foreign land. I could sense his exhaustion and distress. So, I instilled in him the tenets of our academics, convincing him that becoming a slumber nana monkey is the right thing to do. Oh, that's right. He's in the batch of toys that you just delivered. Ooh, quite a turn of events, huh? What? How could you? Bada. Could it be? Father of Ninja Initiate Merchant. Merchant Chief? Why? Because your dad was simply too tired. I asked if he ever had regrets, and he said no. But when I stripped away that banana peel facade, what I found was the expulsion warning letter you had hidden. Of course, but no! Why didn't I realize this sooner? You're a hopeless student. Rather than squandering our educational resources on you, why don't you become one of Fortune Academy's products? At least scrape some worth out of yourself, banana. <laughs> I assured your father that you'll get to be happy like him. It's time for you to rest, Richie. Why did it come to this? What use is it for me keeping up the struggle if you've already given up, Dad? <sighs> Dad, there's nothing else keeping me going. Why not? Something's happening to Richie. We have to stop him. Fiendling pest! What tricks did you pull on Ninja Initiate Merchant? Yeah! How did a ninja get in here? That's not the point. Hold your banana, students! Allow me to explain myself. I was only trying to help relieve those pitiful kids of their suffering, letting them enjoy the rest of their happy life from a different perspective, and maybe make some extra cash while I'm at it, but this isn't anything new in Panacone. You may have your esteemed background and a never-ending supply of credits, but that's not the case for my students. All I did was offer a better alternative. One that both father and son willingly took up. Seems like a fair and banal-worthy deal, wouldn't you say so? As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, sizzling yakitori knows not refreshing ice, as chilled sashimi knows not blazing fire. If Ninja Initiate Merchant has indeed chosen the way of the Fiend, it is not my place to intervene. But not 
jeez! I didn't count on you being this reasonable. Your words alone will not suffice. Ninja Initiate Merchant, is this truly your intention? Bana? He does not seem capable of a response. Merchant Chief, is this a willing decision of yours? Bana? Uh, Deceitful feeling! You spoke with a forked tongue! They can't prove a word of your claims! Bananas! Monkeys can't speak the human language! In that case, your calling is to render those in misery blind and deaf? Oh, utter absurdity! The path to hell is paved with heavenly treasure. Devil's trying to fool you better, get your head together. The hunter's hide greed with a welcoming smile. Don't be beguiled, it could be your last smile. Censure shall not fall upon the ensnared ninja initiate, but the trap's orchestrator ought to be punished. I beckon the ninja hunt upon you. Say your final words, feebling pest. A banana was that? Assisted others! Beat her to a pulp! You can't just banana advisors for actual sacrifices. Just what is your goal? I weep for the departed. Resorting to sorcery to turn ninjas into feedlings? Ugh, dreadfully horrid. Ah, looks like he completely malfunctioned. Huh. Something's awry. I believe I should have held back in the ninja battle just now. Perhaps someone is controlling these feedlings behind the scenes. No matter. The feedling deserves its rightful punishment. Ninja initiate merchant, though. Ninja initiate merchants succumb to their sorcery. He is expected to be out of action for a while. <sighs> Miss Rappa, can we talk about why the Rangers came to Penaconi now? Did you pick up on something, Ninja Hiryu? <sighs> Even though I had doubts before, it was only when I saw this that I felt sure of it. The sworn enemy of the Galaxy Rangers. The horrific scientist who transforms humans into monkeys. The evil ninja Osaru you spoke of. It's... Dr. Primitive. Isn't it? Astute! Evil ninja Osaru. It's definitely evil ninja Osaru! Member number 64 of the Genius Society, Dr. Primitive. No one knows his real name, but his atrocities are infamous throughout the cosmos. The most horrifying one of all has to be his atavistic experiment. The dozens of worlds he caught up in this experiment were mostly home to prosperous interstellar civilizations. But... Every single one of these planets was reduced to a regressed form of intelligence by the time he was done with them. Intellitrons deteriorated into mere machines. Zatskas regressed into birds. And even the most ubiquitous human civilizations were subjected to the same fate. Millions of apes and monkeys now wander amidst the ruins that they once called home. If Dr. Primitive is indeed behind this, we must alert the Astral Express and the family at once. 
we won't be able to avert this crisis on our own. Facing such an amoral emanator of erudition, even the slightest of negligence could bring unimaginable consequences. Your analysis is accurate. However, in my humble opinion, now may not be the best time to call the Harmony Shogunate for aid. As stated in the Cosmic Ninjutsu inscriptions, when the net is cast for a catch, ready yourself to land a fish or forgo your net. With evil Ninja Osaru lurking in the shadows, and our locations not yet compromised, I suggest laying low to avoid alerting the monkeys. Rest assured, I've delegated Silver Gun Shira to investigate the Forbidden Ground. Being the chivalrous and exceptional ninja hero he is, I have faith Silver Gun Shira will accomplish the assigned mission. At this juncture, our priority is to rescue the ninja initiates of Paperfold Town. What ninja heroes would we be if we left those defenseless initiates to the monkeys? If we don't rescue those before us, how can we hope to save the world? Indeed. We must not leave the students to fend for themselves. There you are! I finally found you, my beloved talents! It's... Ninja Gamma! Oh! <laughs> I see this actor is creative with her words. Mr. Rekka? Um... Do you need our help with something? Ah, yes! Charmony Academy is filming a promotional video for their anniversary, but... The Banana Advisor hasn't found anyone that makes the cut. That's why I'm here! To recruit students with greater acting potential. Like you, a big shot with a brilliant past. And you, a superstar that everyone will have their eyes on. And this actress with personality. Please, join us in the performance. Considering how Charmony Banana Advisor's a creator of the Slum Banana Monkey, I believe only young and talented people such as yourselves <clears throat> will be the ones to catch her discerning eye. Uh huh. I see. Thank you for thinking so highly of us, Mr. Rekka. We'll make sure to drop by. That's the way! You will be at the photography studio. See you later. Charmony Banana Advisor must be in league with the mastermind behind this. And... I can't help but feel like there's more than meets the eye with Mr. Rekka. I concur with you. Ninja Hiryu is a punctilious ninja indeed. Banana! Banana! Ah, oh, banana! Banana! How lamentable you are! Please bear with me for now. I vow to defeat evil ninja Osaru and restore your ninja forms! <laughs> 